हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट क्रिएट क्लॉक टाइमिंग कॉन्स्टेंट व्हाट आर द पॉसिबल ऑप्शंस दैट कैन बी यूज्ड विद क्रिएट क्लॉक टाइमिंग कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इफ एनीवन वांट टू रेफर दैट वीडियो आई विल गिव इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन एज वेल एज इन द आई बार सेक्शन यू कैन गो थ्रू इट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ डज Timing analyzer reports the create clock analysis. So when you give any create clock constant, so your timing analyzer tool will do the calculations. It will do its analysis, and how will the report look like? That we are going to discuss in this video. Friends, before proceeding into the depth, one request to all the viewers, those who has not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it because we keep on publishing this type of material on the regular basis. and now without wasting much time let us get started and see what is inside this video friends i created a animated video to explain you how to measure the minimum time period of operation for a complex design it's a very small video of 3 minutes i think all of you should go through it before coming into this video i will give its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section you can go through it but here i am keeping the crux of that video let us say this is a critical path in that complex design which is responsible for calculation of minimum time period of operation and the, this is the clock applied to all the flops so the minimum time period of operation will be tcq the delay of this flip flop plus the delay of combination logic plus setup delay so that is t minimum and f maximum will be equal to 1 by t minimum so all the frequencies higher than this f max this design will not work all the frequency is less than this f max this design will work fine but now the question arises how the timing analyzer tool will report the analysis will it report t minimum and the answer is no then how the timing analyzer tool will report its analysis friends for each register to register path timing analyzer tool does two type of checks one is called setup check from the setup check it calculates the setup slack and other type of check is hold check on the same register to register path and from that check it calculates the hold slack so there are two type of slack for the same register to register path that are reported by timing analyzer tool so after analyzing all the paths the timing analyzer tool calculates the worst slack worst setup slack it is called wns wns is for the complete design this is setup slack of the worst path another type of slack it reports is whs worst hold slack from the entire design the worst hold slack path will be reported here so basically we can say that for create clock constant timing analyzer tool will report wns and whs in its timing summary but now the question arises what do you mean by setup check and what do you mean by hold check friends i have created a separate video on setup check and hold check where we discuss in detail about the setup check and hold check i will share its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section so you can go through it otherwise in this video also i will share the crux of it now let us discuss setup check whatever we discussed in that video quickly the setup check ensures that data should be received on n plus 1 clock edge of the clock if the throwing edge is nth clock So for example if flip flop 1 is throwing some data at nth clock edge this data should be received on flip flop 2 on n plus 1 clock edge not in n plus 2 n plus 3 and so on so that means this check will ensure that my data will be stable at the input of flip flop 2 before the n plus 1 clock edge so that it can be received safely friends then what is the need of the hold check actually there is one big limitation with the setup check and that limitation is it does not check if the data is received on the same clock edge so for example if we are throwing data on nth clock edge and it is getting received at the nth clock edge only this happens when there is a skew on the clock path so this setup check does not check whether data can be received on the nth clock cycle and that limitation is covered with hold time check friends this is one of the slide from the same lecture and here we discuss about the hold time checks hold check ensures that data is not received on 
n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on of the clock edge if the data is thrown at the nth clock edge for example if we are throwing data at the nth clock edge it should not be received at the nth clock edge or n minus 1 or n minus 2 and so on and this happens because of the larger amount of skew and this is another slide from the same lecture here is a conclusion setup check ensures that data will not be captured on n plus 2 n plus 3 active edge of the clock and there is no set of violation as well now whole check ensures that data is not captured on the same clock edge or n minus 1 or n minus 2 clock edges and there is no hold violation both the checks together ensure that data is captured on the n plus 1 active edge of the clock without setup and hold violation friends now let us see how the timing analyzer tool calculates the setup slack previously we saw the expression of minimum time period of operation is equal to tcq plus tcl and plus setup of the second flip flop but as i told that tool does not report t minimum it reports slack for every register to register path so to calculate slack it uses two important terms one is called arrival time arrival time is a delay of first flip flop and delay of this combination logic tcq plus tcl another term is required time required time is what time period of operation minus t setup of the second flip flop so almost all the terms are taken from the previous expression only but friends what is t period here t period is not t minimum here t period is a time period specified in create clock constant as you remember one of the very very important option in create clock constant is period period of the clock so that period is taken here friends as i already mentioned that tool does not calculate t minimum we provide t minimum through create clock constant now we are asking the tool that as per the current placement and routing whether my design will be able to work at this t minimum or no setup slack will be equal to required time minus arrival time now friends let us see how this expression came into the picture friends first thing before this calculation you should know that this setup slack is calculated with respect to flip flop 2 let us assume a very simple case that my rising edge appears at 0 nanosecond so at 0 nanosecond i will have a rising edge and this flip flop will pass its input to its output so delay is tcq plus tcl so this is the total delay after the rising edge of the clock which is appearing at 0 nanosecond so after this much delay my data will appear at the input of flip flop 2 so basically let us assume that this is 0 nanosecond after tcq plus tcl amount of delay this data will appear at the input of flip flop 2 and for this particular delay we are naming it as arrival time we have given a specific name to this delay that is called arrival time this is a time in which data is arriving at the input of the flip flop 2 friends for simplicity we are showing only tcq and combination delay but in the actual timing analysis report you will see the net delays also so for example the net from flip flop to combination logic this delay will be included and the delay from combination logic to the flip flop will also be included in the arrival time now let us try to understand the second important term that is called the required time required time is an input to the pnr tool placement and routing tool and required time is a time that i am asking the pnr tool to give for arrival time so basically required time should be greater than the arrival time so pnr tool will make this placement and routing in such a way that it is less than the required time so how do we specify the required time we specify the required time through create clock constant in create clock constant we supply the period time period of clock another important thing we know that this flip flop 2 has a setup time requirement so required time is equal to time period minus setup time requirement of flip flop 2 if you see the above expression also t minimum minus t setup is equal to tcq plus tcl so required time is t minimum minus t setup but here t minimum we are giving to the tool this should be always greater than arrival time 
फ्रेंड्स इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट रिक्वायर टाइम इज गिवन बाय अस थ्रू कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड इट इज द मैक्सिमम अराइवल टाइम दैट इज गिवन फॉर द पी एन आर टूल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लेसमेंट एंड राउटिंग टाइमिंग एनालाइजर टूल विल रिपोर्ट द स्लैक स्लैक इज नथिंग बट रिक्वायर टाइम माइनस अराइवल टाइम समटाइम्स अवर रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर वेरी वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट वी गिव पीरियड लाइक टू नैनो सेकेंड विच इज वेरी वेरी टाइट रिक्वायरमेंट In that case, maybe PNR tool will not be make this placement and routing to serve the requirement. In that case, arrival time will be always more than the required time. In that case, lag will be negative. So our design will not work at the required frequency. Friends, in this calculation, I consider the most simplest case where clock skew is zero. But practically, when this clock comes from I/O pad, there will be always some delay when it reaches source slope and when it reaches destination flop there will be a delay so ultimately there will be a clock queue and that should be considered now let us consider the more practical case considering skew and reevaluate our expressions friends one very important point to note here is all the timing calculations are done with respect to the io pad clock io pad friends i have redrawn this diagram where i am considering all the possible skews This is a clock pad where clock source is applying the clock input, and after D one delay, there is a tap point. From here, the clock is bifurcated into two paths. One path leads to source flip flop after going through this delay D two, and other path is through this D three delay. It reaches the destination flip flop. Now let us try to calculate the arrival time with respect to this clock I O pad. Just assume that the positive edge of the clock appears at this I/O pad at zero nanosecond, and after D1 delay, it will reach the tap point, and after D2 delay, it will reach at the input of flip-flop one, and we know that the input to this flip-flop will not pass at its output till the positive edge does not appear at the flip-flop input. So after D1 plus D2 delay, the edge appears at flip-flop one, and now this D1 will be passed at the output of Q1 after TCQ amount of delay. Plus TCL amount of delay, this will reach at the input of flip flop two. So, what is my new arrival time with respect to this clock I/O board? It is TCQ, that is the delay of flip flop one, plus TCL. We already considered these two parameters in our previous example also. Plus D1, plus D2. So, this is my arrival time with respect to the clock I/O pad. One important thing I am again repeating. our reference point is this clock io pad now let us see my new required time it is t period minus t setup as already we discussed in our previous example but now here we need to add d1 delay plus d3 delay friends you can say that this is destination clock path delay so basically source clock path delay we are adding in the arrival time and destination clock path delay we need to add in the required time Friends, in one of my previous video, I explained the impact of skew in detail, and I created the animation video as well. I will share its link in the description section as well as in the I bar section. You can go through it. But now I am going to take the crux of that video. Friends, let us see the impact of positive skew on the minimum time period of operation. So this slide is taken from my previous lecture. Here, this is a clock that is applied to flip flop one, and this clock is applied to flip flop two. and there is a delay of dollar because there is a positive skew flip flop 1 is thrown data at the nth edge of the clock let us say this is the nth edge of the clock and now this data should be captured at flip flop 2 at this edge if you see very carefully this is time period of operation plus dollar so this time is in increased actually so we have more margin to capture data at flip flop 2 now So with skew's help, we can reduce the time period of operation. So t minimum is equal to t cq plus t cl plus t setup minus dollar. So that is what we proved in our previous video. But here arrival time is same t cq plus t cl. Now the required time, which was previously only time period of operation, it is now plus dollar time period of operation plus dollar and minus serial time of the second flip flop that we already discussed. Why we subtract it here? And slack will be required time minus arrival time. Now let us see the impact of negative skew on the minimum time period of operation. And this slide is also taken from my previous lecture only. Here skew is negative skew. That means the clock that is going to the source slope is delayed version of the clock, 
with respect to the destination flop this is the clock that is going to the destination flop and this is the clock that is going to the source flop and it is delayed by dollar amount of time now what will be the side effect of this now this source flop will transmit its data at this positive edge of the clock and this data needs to be captured at this edge of the clock so if you see it very carefully this time which was previously time period of operation now it is reduced by that is reduced by dollar amount of time because this is making the negative effect so we have to increase the minimum time period of operation so t minimum equal to tcq plus tcn plus t setup plus dollar if you want to see in depth explanation of this equation i have created an animation video its link is given in the description section you can go through it now let us discuss the arrival time we are talking with respect to this point that is a clock io pad with respect to clock io pad this clock is reaching here after dollar amount of time plus tcq when the edge reaches here then immediately input of this flip flop will be passed at its output so tcq amount of time plus t combination logic so this will be my arrival time now with respect to clock io pad now friends let us discuss the required time required time with respect to the clock io pad friends when this positive edge appears at this clock io pad after that we have time period of operation to capture data at flip flop 2 because flip flop 2 is capturing data at this edge so we have time period of operation only minus setup time of the flip flop 2 that will be my required time anyway the effect of q is already considered in the arrival time so required time will be as it is setup slack will be required time minus arrival time So in this slide we have put all type of delays on the clock path. This is the D1 which is common for source clock and destination clock. D2 is just like a negative skew. D3 is a positive skew. Now arrival time is D1 plus D2 plus TCQ plus TCL as we already discussed. Now required time will be time period of operation plus D1 plus D3 minus setup of the second flip flop. And setup slack will be required time minus arrival time. so this you need to remember now some of the tools will report timing like this but now some of the tools report it in a slightly different way let me reveal that also for you if you see very carefully d1 plus d2 is a source clock path delay that means the delay that is taken by the clock to reach the source flip flop source clock path delay d1 plus d2 is source clock path delay now destination clock path delay is d1 plus d3 so d1 plus d3 is destination clock path delay the time taken by the clock from clock pad to reach the destination flip flop now let us replace d1 plus d2 with source clock path delay and d1 plus d3 with destination clock path delay so our equation will be arrival time will be equal to tcq plus tcl plus source clock path delay required time will be equal to time period of operation requested in create clock constant plus destination clock path delay minus setup of the flip flop 2 slack will be same required time minus arrival time this is another thing you should remember friends this is all about setup slack as calculated by timing analyzer tool and we have covered it in detail i don't think you will find this much detail anywhere else but as our video size is becoming lengthy i am closing this video session here only and in the upcoming video session i will cover the whole check and hold slack in detail so to get a notification of that video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press a bell icon to get a notification of that video and with this i am going to end this session i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching and your time